What's up you guys? Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. It is Ashley and today um, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Now, first of all, I'm gonna move that because that's gonna get annoying. Um, if you can't tell, I'm in my car and I just stopped at Starbucks. Um, I think they made my drink really, really right today because I love, I always get the strawberry acai refresher with light ice now so that they give me extra base because I am obsessed with the acai base. Like, look at how, look at how dark it is. Like, that's just the right color and what it needs to be. Um, also, I've been super, super obsessed with, this has nothing to do with the video, but, um, I've been super, super obsessed with the Madelines that they have. It's like a cookie type thing, but look, I found them at Kroger. So, they're like $5.99 for a huge box of them at Kroger, where they're like $3 for a pack of them at Starbucks. But anyway, um, I also got a sausage, egg, and cheese with no egg sandwich. Now... Today's video is basically going to be me telling you guys where I've been the past two months and why I haven't posted. So, let's get into that. So, it is 8 a.m. on a Sunday and I am filming and posting this all on the same day, but if you are already subscribed, if you're a subscriber of mine, um, you may have noticed that it's been about two months since I've last posted, besides the Christmas haul that I just posted. Um, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. So, my last post was, I think towards the end of October, it was the ghost hunting video that I did, and, um, after that, I just stopped posting. Now, there's a lot, there's like a whole series of events of why I stopped posting, but I am 100% getting back into it, so if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, because there will be more videos. I will be posting every single week, like I used to. Um, not twice a week, I've tried that and I just cannot with my busy schedule, but sometimes I will, sometimes I'll put in an extra little video here and there whenever I can, but, um... At the end of October, I was super, super stressed out because I was working on this Halloween costume for the past, like, two years. It was absolutely insane, and I was just exhausted because I put my absolute most amount of effort into that, like, at the very, very end of October. So here's a little clip of that if you wanted to see what I'm talking about. Um, it's this giant, like, nine-foot-tall monster thing. It's called, like, a spirit walker, and I put my entire blood sweat tears heart and soul into that because i don't know i just love halloween and that was like one thing that i really wanted to accomplish that year um but after that i november um i got really 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 busy with school and i absolutely hate school so it's already hard enough to try and get me to do school as it is um i ended up having like three classes with tons and tons and tons of just like stuff. And I know like that's not an excuse, like school, whatever. Um, but I had all of that and then I also got a new job. Um, I am now like working full time where before I wasn't working full time. So I had more time then and now I don't. Um, I also switched shifts with my work. So now I work nights again and that's kind of a struggle to get back into. And right as I got my new job, um, my boyfriend hit his head and had a traumatic brain injury, so I'm just gonna, like, shorten the entire story. Basically, um, my boyfriend had a traumatic brain injury. We were in the hospital for quite some time, and, um, he's finally home now. Now it's January. He's still not back to work. He still can't work. Um, it's a whole, it's a whole big deal. Um, that definitely... Put a huge pause to our life in general. Um, not only could he not remember who he was, who I was, who anybody was, he didn't know his own name, he couldn't walk, he couldn't do anything. So I can do a whole story on it because like he's better now, um, but the short story is basically we were outside having fun. He was playing with his um, new skateboard that my dad got him. It was a, it's called a summer board. I'll put like a picture of it right here. It's basically like a snowboard skateboard and um, he wanted to see how fast he could go on it after practicing in our basement. Um, we went outside on it and the like first takeoff that he did, um, it flung him off and he hit his head 50 miles per hour straight into the concrete. 
Now, when he hit his head, um, it was kind of like a shock to me because like he has never, ever, ever gotten hurt in his entire life. He's never been to the doctor, never been to the hospital, never, like normally when he like falls, he gets right back up. So I was um, with the dog and I was like screaming at him like, yo, get up, like there's a car coming, like get up, because he was in the middle of the road and um, he wasn't getting up and I was like, this is weird, this is odd, why is he not getting up? I look at him and his eyes were just gone like you could tell there was nothing there um i had a whole bunch of neighbors help me out they all like basically ran to the rescue um i called the ambulance and we took a very 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 long ambulance ride to our like most urgent um hospital because i guess the hospitals around here can't treat traumatic brain injuries so we had to go into a whole nother state and um get him there but the issue was when he hit his head, um, he hit it with so much force that the back of his head, when like his brain hit, it bounced back forward and hit the part of his brain where his personality and behavior are. Now, um, that uh, clearly made him a little different and um, it made him extremely, extremely aggressive towards anybody trying to help him. So. Um, he was basically, it was me in the ambulance, two other guys and a driver. Um, the two EMTs were trying to hold him down because he was trying to get out of the stretcher because he didn't know where he was. He was like, where am I? Where's my stuff? Where's, where am I going? Like, what's going on? He had no idea. He didn't even know who the people were trying to help him. It was really, really scary, um, especially because he didn't know who I was and I was trying to help him. Um, he ended up knocking out both the... EMTs, so we had to stop and pull over on the highway um, underneath of a bridge. I just, I, I remember like bits and pieces because I am also like so traumatized from it. I know that sounds like crazy, but like I'm like shaking a little just talking about it because it was like probably the scariest thing that's ever happened to me seeing that happen to him because I mean we've been together for like four and a half years and it was just pretty traumatic um, especially because like I left the dog at home luckily my dad was able to get her but once we pulled over we had two more cops come into the ambulance they hopped in they were from a different city and they had him in handcuffs and they cuffed his ankles and everything just because he was so aggressive and punching everybody hi nala how are you you a good girl <laughs> i also have nala here with me because she loves going to starbucks and i knew that if i went to starbucks without her she'd be mad so um but anyway um the we had all the backup with us um he ended up grabbing an oxygen tank and hitting another guy um and then handing turned around and handed it to me and was like so i don't know if that was like a i don't know a little click in his brain like oh i kind of know her i don't know um but he didn't hit me with it so that was good i guess um then we finally made it to the hospital and i wasn't able to see him for about an hour or two, which was also pretty scary because I had to sit in the ER of this huge hospital where like, there was people just like covered in blood and like, it was just, it was scary um, because I'd never been to that hospital either. So I had no idea where I was. Um, at first they wouldn't even let me into the ambulance, which was extra scary because I had no idea how to get to that hospital because I had never been there. So I was like, yo, I like, I told them I couldn't drive just so that I could go with them. Um, so they finally let me go in the ambulance with them because originally they weren't going to let me. Um, but basically I was stranded at the hospital. Um, my best friend's mom came and sat with me that whole day. And yeah, it was, we, we've had a lot going on basically. Um, that's where I've pretty much been. Um, but he's getting better now. We had, I tried to film this video the other day when we had his speech therapy, but um, it didn't go very well. Um, there was just a lot going on and um, He's starting to drive again, so we've been practicing that, but obviously he can't drive by himself yet, so I have to watch him very thoroughly and make sure that he's got the right response time and that he doesn't have any seizures because that's the biggest thing that they're worried about now. But he's been pretty good. Um, no more headaches, no more dizziness. He's back on his feet. He's able to walk again, so yeah. So I've had a busy end of the year, <laughs> I guess you could say. Well, that's pretty much where I've been. Um, I feel like that's the entire update. 
I don't think there was anything else that went on. I mean, obviously Christmas, um, I was pretty busy for that. Thanksgiving, we didn't really have one because that's when he hit his head. Um, but, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys an update because I know, like, if you are subscribed that you do watch my videos. And I have a lot of people asking me questions like where I've been, what I've been up to, if I've been working, like, what's going on. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's what's been going on, um, but everything's better now, so we're getting back into our normal routine, so I will be posting videos, and I know a lot of you are going to say, like, oh, don't rush back into it, don't, like, push yourself, but this is my favorite thing to do. Like, I absolutely love recording and editing, and I don't know, this is, like, the only thing that I really have, um, besides, like, work and, like, stuff that I don't really... I don't know, school, I don't really enjoy that as much as I do filming, so this honestly helps me get back into being myself again. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm okay, I hope you guys are too, and let's hope for a better 2024, because 2023 was kind of rough. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later, bye!